Okay guys, so this should be part 3, we should be finishing up this one now. Um, last time we were left, we were busy setting the tension, we checked everything and the timing was out a little bit, so uh, then my battery died, so I had to do, uh, charge it up a bit, do this. Okay, so to basically double check myself, I've got my uh, little rod here to make sure that I have the manual, let's see if I can get that tilted up there. Got a little rod there just to make sure that I've got my TDC set correctly and uh, got the tool in the bottom of the crank there so we're just gonna slack up a little bit go back I think I hit pause there and uh, notice how it's traveling down and then traveling back up so we hit the marker right there. So we know that that is TDC. And make sure you've got the proper tools on this because if you don't, it's not gonna come in right. And then basically, we're gonna check with our timing tool if our positioning is correct. See if I can uh, get the setup for you guys on the other side. Okay, right, so we're busy working on that side. With our timing tool on this section here. Gonna slot it in there. And just like that, just slot right in. Flush to the position parallel to the to the back side, and uh, yeah, you might need to give the belt a little bit of a wiggle uh, due to the internal stresses, but uh, that should come in just as it should be. Then um, it's gonna take us out. A bit tight fit, so we know that our timing is set perfectly correctly. And just to be safe, I'm going to remove the uh, crank tool and manually check it again. To make sure that I indeed have two TDC. Okay, so that is the timing tool removed from the crank. And I will now go back section and look where TDC is about, run about there. Now, this is without the timing marks because I want to show you guys the difference between when you use the timing versus when you don't. See how that's not even properly lined up. So you can get it in. And you see, it just doesn't line up. It just doesn't line up. You, you can't either, guys. You need the tools. So, uh, that's the long and the short of it. Let me see. If, I just want to give it one more chance. Let me see how close I can get it to true TDC. The timing on this is very, very precise. You do not want to eyeball this. See, it doesn't slot in. With all the wiggling and jiggling, it just does not go in. So guys, you're going to need the proper timing tool on this. You cannot eye this. It's not possible. Okay, so we're going to head back to the other side. Okay, so now we've torqued these to 15 Newton meters. Now the next thing we've got to do is we've got to torque it, uh, rotate it another 135 degrees. So we're probably going to be needing our dial gauge for that. So let me get that quickly. Okay guys, I can't seem to find my degree wheel. Um, I've looked everywhere for about an hour now, I can't find it. Uh, okay, so we're just going to wrap it up here. Uh, basically what happens next is you torque this down to 135 newtons, 100, oh, I'm talking shit. You rotate this to 135 degrees, rotate that to 135 degrees while holding the pulley. Uh, then the cap goes back on here. This cap goes back on there, check the positioning, make sure that the seal is still good, and you can reassemble that there. This one's got a cap there, and then that goes on there. Note the direction of installation, and you torque that down, I think it was 35 newtons, but uh, just check the manual to be sure. Uh, I don't know where the hell my degree wheel is, I, and uh, yeah, I don't want to do that because of the angle, it, it can uh, throw the readings off, best use a degree wheel. So guys, that's long and the short of it. Um, 
do that, reassemble, and then uh, should be good. Um, I think any, anything I also can mention, uh, just check your tension, see our tension is now back where it should be, see if I can zoom in there. Tension is back where it should be on the little indicator there. A little bit over, but that's fine. Um, within a few rotations, that'll set in perfectly. You notice how our initial marks have been marked. It's more or less where they were. A little bit different, but that's because the pulleys float. Um, Check here, I've got the correct timing tools. Uh, don't forget to refill the coolant. And uh, I think there's that. Yeah, I'm a bit thrown off now because I can't find my degree wheel. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I don't want to make a fourth part. Uh, this is only a three-hour job, um, but filming does take a bit of time and take a bit longer. So good luck, guys. Hope this helps. Um, if there's any uh, questions, I'll probably make a part four. But uh, I don't think that we're gonna be doing that. Um, the hardest part's basically done. Now it's just reassembly, fitting the covers, um, replacing the alternator, coolant lines, boost pipes. Uh, water pump and uh, yeah that's basically that so I'm gonna wrap it up here guys good luck hope this helps